what the hell are sleep masks? What do they do and can they actually help you achieve better skin? And my top five recommendations for anyone who has acne, acne scars, dry skin, oily skin, and wrinkles. So let's get to it. So sleep masks have been on the market for a while, but I feel like they've really taken off recently. And I absolutely love these. Sleep masks are basically what you put on right before you go to bed. After your moisturizer, after your serum, or in place of your moisturizer or serum, put on a sleep mask. Just the way you would put on a normal mask, but you keep this on throughout the entire night and you do not wash it off until the morning. This means that for the six to eight hours that your skin is repairing itself, you are giving it an extra boost of the ingredients it needs to more effectively fight acne, wrinkles, dryness, etc. So first let's talk about acne because you know, I'm the pimple person. One of my favorite sleep masks that I've personally used for acne is from The Body Shop. This is the tea tree oil sleep mask and it's got tea tree oil and salicylic acid. These are two ingredients that I found are gentle, but they do help my skin and they do combat breakouts. Salicylic acid specifically goes onto your skin and helps to dissolve the top layer of a clog, meaning the clog that a pimple is caused by, this stuff helps to slough it off. Tea tree oil is also antibacterial, antimicrobial, and can help stop scar formation. This contains both. It's natural, it's kind of like a jelly texture. It almost smells like eucalyptus. Um, it's really, really fun to play with. So you put this on, you go to sleep, this fights your acne for eight hours, you wake up in the morning, wash it off, do your regular skincare, and go throughout your day. Oh, I spilled face mask on my pants. Next, what if you've got acne scars? This is one of my favorite sleep masks, but it's also one of the most potent. This is from my shell, and this is the Remarkable Retinol Night Cream. This is an amazing sleep mask, and it has retinol, not retinol. Retinol and retinol are extraordinarily helpful for acne, for scars, and for wrinkles. But retinol is different than retinol. Retinol is the one that I would personally recommend because it is much more potent. And retinol is turned into retinol by your skin. This has extraordinarily high amounts of vitamin A, as well as soothing shea butter, as well as jojoba oil, which you know was essential for clearing my acne. I found that it's the best moisturizer that doesn't clog my skin. Now, if you do have acne scars, whether they are raised or pitted, this is one of the best for you. Because retinol is so potent, it really can rebuild the skin in a remarkable way. The only thing you want to be careful of is that retinol or retinol can be a little bit drying. So if you are prone to dryness, you might want to keep that in mind. But again, this does have hydrating properties. And of course, it's cruelty free. Speaking of dry skin, what if your skin does get dry? This is the Watermelon Glow Mask, a sleep mask from Korea. This literally smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It is amazing. This is a super lightweight formula. It almost feels like a, like a bomb. As you can see, it's almost like liquid sugar, um, but it goes on the skin super, super light. It really coats the skin evenly, and this provides extreme hydration. It doesn't leave your skin oily or goopy. It absorbs right in, but like the sleep mask that it is, it provides moisture and kind of like a barrier to your skin for the entire night, and it doesn't come off on your pillow. Literally locks everything in. The other thing is that Glow Recipe is a brand from Korea, and South Korea really is in kind of the top line of cutting edge skin science when it comes to lasers, to therapies, to treatments, and to skincare products. But I found that it's hard to find Korean beauty products that are cruelty free. This is one of them, and it is one of my favorites. If you've got dry skin, or especially if you wake up with dry skin, I highly recommend giving this a try. And it smells so good. I wonder if I can eat it, it's natural. It doesn't taste as good as it smells. <laughs> Next, what about people with oily skin? This is a restoring night cream from Zoo Beauty. This is amazing because it's one of the first skincare lines that actually contains quinoa. Quinoa is high in protein, and this product also has tea tree oil, which again is antimicrobial and antibacterial, and it's got algae and seaweed extracts. Altogether, these are super healthy for your skin. They can help it repair, but they can also help stop oil production. They absorb quickly into your skin, so your skin is more hydrated and doesn't have to produce as much of its own oil, and it actually can help break down some of the free fatty acids um, and some of those components of oils that can bother your skin. So if you do suffer with oily, if you are a grease monster and your forehead shines bright like a diamond, I would highly recommend giving this a try. It's also a really ethical brand. They support local farmers. They are a 
B Corporation. Um, they're really one of my personal favorite lines and I love not only their products, but what they do for the world. Last but not least, what about people with aging skin or wrinkles who are looking to diminish wrinkles and refirm up their skin? This is from Origins. This is the plant prescription overnight mask and this stuff is amazing to the point that I've kind of used all of it. <laughs> If you're trying to treat wrinkles, sagging, or dull skin, whether it's already happened or you're trying to prevent it, this stuff is awesome. So you know collagen is important and it's like supposed to be good for anti-aging and for beautiful skin. Fibrillin is the precursor, the building block to collagen. Any product that has this mechanism of action can also help with scars as well. It also contains goji berry, which in this product creates kind of like a mesh that helps to actually lift the skin, along with some antioxidants for glowing and for anti-aging. And it's got sweet almond in it, which can really help revitalize the skin, adding a little bit of lift, but also combating any dullness. I hope that my personal recommendations help you out so that if you are struggling with getting the right skincare or if you're looking to treat a specific problem, that you can try out some of these and maybe target your problem a bit more effectively and give your skin the helping hand and helping ingredients that it might need to be its best version of itself. If you have any questions that this video didn't answer for you or if you have a favorite sleep mask that's cruelty free that you want to share with me or anybody else who's watching this video, please post it in the comments below. You know that I love talking to you and the more that we share shows that we care and educating others and ourselves is essential to living beautifully both inside and out. So remember that I love you guys and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.